Hi guys, uh, well, <laughs> I've gone and bought that old chestnut, a finicky eating fish, which happens to be my Maso Tang. It's, uh, it's eating, but eating very little. And I've done some, oh, a bit late now, but I've done some extra research on them. And they can be finicky eaters. It's, it's hardly touched nori. It's not taking pellet and it's barely taking any frozen food. So luckily for me, I've got quite a good local fish shop, which is uh, Cambridge Coral Tech, where I got the fish from. And I said, you know, phoned them up. And I said, look, the fish is uh, finicky eating. It's not eating very well. And they said, ah, oh, right, I've got some stuff for that. Maastricht. Or mastic, whichever one to pronounce it, and basically it's like a powder. Uh, you mix it up with RO water, two grams of powder to one mil of RO water, and you sort of roll it into a ball and get a paste out of it. And I'll tell you what, it stinks to high heaven. So, what I've done, I'll set this little um, example up for you. This is the packaging it comes in. Brief instructions on the back. The beauty of it, you can freeze it for five weeks when you've made it up. Uh, so that's the bag it comes in, it's quite solid. And then you get this resealable plastic bag in this one you've got about five or six pouches of it and these are what the pouches look like the powder get it out of the way just a tub I've made there I'm not going to do it now, but this is what I used. Just a little tub. Pour your powder in. Two grams. Weigh your powder. Zero the tub on your scales. Put your powder in. Get your pepite. Petite. Pepette even. And get one mil of water in there. Squirt that in the tub. And mix it up. You can put other things in there. I'll show you. There's all sorts of shrimps and mices and red plankton and that. Mix it up into it. Also a bit of nori. And the balls look like that when they're finished. Quite solid. It's not going to break up. It's quite squidgy. And then the bag that you used, the first bag I used, I put them all back in there. Made up balls, I'm going to put them in the freezer. And then what I've done is, I've put one ball on the glass there, just squash it onto the glass. And it'll stay up there for as long as the fish are eating it. And I've also put a piece on the rock over there, squished it on. Now that tang knows there's food in the water, he's, uh, he's just got to find it, that's all. But hopefully he'll start taking food soon. So that's what I'm using. Good stuff, I reckon. Well, I hope it's good stuff. I hope I'm not back in a couple of weeks saying, oh no, I lost the tang. But no, hopefully it should be alright. 